Way back in the 70s when I was just a young girl, this bathroom, well, it would have been an absolute showstopper. But now it's more like a little bit of a shocker. But with a few cosmetic changes, we can give this the look of a luxury day spa. And like us, if your budget is tight, cosmetic changes just might be the way to go. It's pretty amazing just what you can do. This may just be a mini makeover I'm planning, but trust me, this bathroom is going to look brand new. This stage, I need to decide what I like about this bathroom and what needs to go. First up, double massive mirrors. And as you can see, there is nowhere to hide. A little bit too much information, so I think one of them needs to go. The toilet and vanity could use a spruce up, but these tiles, well, they're pretty far out. And if you wait long enough, sometimes things actually do become on trend again. So these tiles you'll notice are in all the stores, so we can work with them. The other thing that I like about this room are these pelmets. This soft lighting just floods down the wall, so we're going to work with those. It's a good size in here. We've got lots of positives. Oops. I guess we won't be using that again. The whole idea is to take the sink out with as little damage to the substrate as possible. But I do think I might need to fix up the tiles on the surface. One job always leads to another. If you're after a new look toilet for not a lot of effort, honestly, you could simply get away with just changing the system and the toilet seat. It all depends on the toilet base pan that you actually have. And really, how far you want to take things. This one, well, it's a little on the old side, so I'm going to replace the whole lot. It's just up to you. So what Scott's actually doing is he's breaking away the concrete at the back of the pan. That's what's holding it down in place. It's a little bit messy, but, you know, it's going to be worth it. Hey, look at that. And <laughs> it's still got the water in it. This is togetherness, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now to leave a little more to the imagination in this bathroom. This mirror, well, it's coming down. So what we've done is we've run some tape across it. Now, that's just going to hold things together in case it breaks. I don't intend for it to actually smash, but just in case. It's not safety glass. Now, the one thing that really worries me about this mirror is look how precariously it's just sitting here. There's just two little clips at the bottom and two springs at the top. Honestly, one little bump and this whole mirror could have just come crashing off the wall straight down into this bathtub. So really, I'm not unhappy to see it go. As you'll notice, the other mirror's gone too, but that's only temporary. Well, hey, let there be light. I really like the pelmet, so I'm going to extend the concept. By connecting the two pelmets together with this extra timber, it just adds some continuity to this room and adds a really nice feature. And I know what you're thinking. She's gone right across the window. Doesn't that look strange? Well, trust me, a little later, it's all going to come together. That will become the main design element of this room. We're turning an outdated 70s bathroom shocker into a luxury Japanese retreat, all on a budget. I'm halfway through our cosmetic bathroom makeover. It really is the messy stage. As you can see, there's lots of jobs started, nothing quite finished. Now, the ceiling is underway. Bare timber, it needed another colour. So what I've done is just given it a very light coat of a primer. While that's drying, I'm getting stuck into the vanity unit. These old tiles, well, they have to go. And then, with that clear, this timber, well, it's in good condition, so a very light sand is all it needs before it gets its top coat colour. And to create cohesion and unite all the dark colours in this bathroom, I'm painting the window frames as well. Some things in a bathroom you just can't replace or even need to. But with a can of spray paint, you can coordinate everything. Now, these old fan vents, well, they go yellow over time. A quick spray does the trick nicely. Now, remember I had a plan for the window and pelmet? 
Now, this is what I was telling you about a little earlier. It's what's going to give me the wow factor in the bathroom. And I'll let you in on a little secret. It's actually decorative screening. You normally see it used around the edges of swimming pools and the sides of decks. Now, this being garden trellis made of plastic means it'll stand up to the moisture and the humidity in the bathroom. It'll let the light somewhat come through that window, so it'll give us some privacy. And it's very easy to cut down, so you can make it to any size you want. And to secure it, what we're doing here is just resting it behind the helmet. And lovely Scotty here has already attached just some timber beading to the ceiling that you can see up there. And it gets screwed in place, nice and neat. By taking out the tiles from the top of the old vanity, it's left me with this really handy space. Now, I could have filled it with marble, man-made stone, maybe even concrete, but instead I've gone for cement fibre sheeting and to the top I've attached these gorgeous pieces of slate. This is going to bring in that natural, organic texture that I'm after. really is the little things that do make the difference. That old yellow crazed toilet, it just made this whole bathroom really dated. So by replacing it with this new unit for less than $300, it's made a massive difference. I've chosen matte black tapware and against the earthiness of the tiles, the simple lines will give this bathroom a really contemporary high-end feel. Using the existing bathroom pelmets as my inspiration, we've made up a very simple box out of pine that will be known as the vanity bar. Now this is where we can store things like makeup and other bits and pieces, all of those bathroom essentials. Now to tie it in with our colour scheme, I'm just using proof tint. This will allow a dark colour, but also the grain to be seen. Remember I said big mirrors can sometimes give away a little too much information? Well, I wanted to include this mirror in here. I just wanted to cut down on the view. So what I'm using here is some of this. It's a frosting spray. It's fantastic. It gives you a really thin film, which makes it opaque across the mirror. And then where the frosting meets the mirror, well, that's where our vanity bar is going. And now for more of the soft touches that'll bring this bathroom together. So if your bathroom is leaving you feeling less than inspired, relaxed, you don't need to do an awful lot to make a tremendous difference. I think this just goes to prove with a little bit of effort and not a lot of cash in no time at all, you too can be relaxing in your very own day spa.